Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2015 Scientific Conference. Cosmetics Europe Week, if I may say, the Scientific and Regulatory Conference is really an opportunity for industry people to look forward rather than look backward. I mean, we're not, we're not talking about achievements, we're talking about things that may happen to us. So I explained today what, what our plans are for the future, how that will follow up on third one, but also how it will uh, then bring about the, these, these safety testing strategies that meet regulatory requirements and can be used then in an industry setting uh, and that would make everybody happy uh, the academic world the industry but also the animals at some point the real challenge is to try and multiply what's done in surat which is particularly liver orientated although there are work going on in in certain systems in the neurons and brain tissue and so on and so on. They expand it to cover multiple organs in the body and also to make sure that uh, that work is, is governed by good systemic exposure predictions based on real life measurements. The biggest problem that we have is that, of course, our uh, European legislation is unique and we have to do the safety of the ingredients and the safety of the cosmetic products must be guaranteed and that is with non-animal alternatives. So uh, other parts of the world are also interested in having alternative methodologies but they are not so forced by the regulation that it is all in vitro, that it is all non-animal. So that makes it an extra challenge. We really need to work cross-sectoral. That's a forum here and a platform where we meet people from a regulatory background, from an academic background and other industries. And that's really the greatest contribution of this conference to our cause, our common cause.